Welcome to Fenway Park for Wrestling All-Stars of New England, brought to you by Bell Time Club and Dante Luna. I am the benevolent, intelligent, Donnie Wonderful. I'm here with Drew Kazoo and Joe Business. Great to be here, man. I am psyched. We got a good one here today, man. This, kind of, this is the kind of what it's all about right here. We got the two veterans. We got Bo Douglas and Jason Rumble taking on... I hate to say two of the most hated, but you know what? It is what it is. Picture perfect, man. Dan Terry and Vern Vicalo, two protégés of Tony Ulysses. And here we go. Right here is the ECW legend, the extreme enforcer, Paul Richard. That's right. And here we go. The VCW Tag Team Champions. Terry and the selfie-made man, Vern Vicalo. Representing CrossFit and Dan Terry. It was Dan Terry Fitness, DTF. Are you DTF, Mr. Business? Always DTF, Drew Kazoo. And Always they, DTF. And there's the veteran team of Bo Douglas and, I have and to Jason point Rumble. Out the bravery to wear a Yankees jersey in the legendary Fenway Park. I got it. Audacity, uh, that, that's definitely a word that we think of when we think of uh, Tony Ulysses, another veteran of New England wrestling. Let me tell you right now, we've got Bo Douglas and, uh, and Jason Rumble, two veterans of the squared circle, both trained by the legend, actually, Killer Kowalski. I have, I have to correct you there, Chris Zou. It is actually Dan Terry who's locking up horns with uh, his former mentor, Bo Douglas. Good observation. Well, I'm sorry, we've got... Uh, Some of us have to make him so wonderful. Some of us have to. As we see that Tony Ulysses now jawing with the fans ringside. Man, his hair is as short as his. How can he pull anything? There's Jason Rumble. Jason Rumble telling us, tell the referee, keep an eye on the hair pull in there. Dan Terry pulling the hair. Douglas. We see Bo now with the Irish Ripper. Wait, wait. Dan Terry says no. Oh, slips to the outside and he avoids the. Huge right hand. Listen, sometimes that's absolutely necessary. Get a breather, gather yourself, replan, restructure, get back in there, and get to work. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, you see a right hand coming your way. Wouldn't it be nice, as a former boxer and now a trainer of professional boxers, wouldn't it be nice to just be able to drop down to the canvas and escape through the ring when you get that right hand coming your way? Oh, absolutely. Any Dan breaks in boxing, any breaks in a wrestling ring, you take them. Dan Terry taking full advantage of it, but it wasn't, didn't pay off. As he slung shot, is that a word, Mr. Wonderful? Slung I'll shot. I'll let that one go. Slung shot into the ropes as we see Dan Terry now. Oh, double reversal. Face to face in the worst way possible now. It's picture perfect as Vern Riccolo and Dan Terry body slams in tandem. The team of Rumble and Bo Douglas now in full control. The veterans are showing you exactly why Let's they're veterans. Go! I guess Bo knows exactly what to do when he's here at historic Fenway Park wrestling in front of the uh, Fenway Faithful and all these great wrestling fans. Jason Rumble, of course, the son of New England wrestling legend, the Boston bad boy, Tony Rumble. Absolutely. Tony Rumble, legendary promoter in the area. Well, I gotta tell you, he's going against the man who always paints a perfect picture, Burn by Callo. And he goes for the swing. There was nothing perfect about that. Yeah, kick to the head. Looks like Jason Rumble bringing the rumble right now. But there's only one guy, not 28 of them. And the selfie-made man here is on the receiving end of those vicious shots by Jason Rumble. Handful of hand as you get. Oh! Jason Rumble is really aggressive, really controlling the action here in this match. And he's putting his team in the best position possible to get this over with. Putting the boots now, quite literally. Oh, there's a big chop. Vern Vaccalo now the worst for wear. Another big chop now. Those chops hurt, guys. They really, really dig into your chest. Not only do we know how hard those shots were, we also know which way to Ipswich Street, as is made evident by the sign. As we see Jason Rumble now going to one, two, two only. I'll tell you the selfie made man here. He's been through a lot. He can handle it. As we see the tag made now, as Bo Douglas makes his way into the ring now, we see a tremendous size difference here. Bo Douglas and Vern Vicalo. Oh, you can hear that chop all the way across the green monster on the mass pike. And, and by, oh, look at this. You know what, we're actually gonna say, keep an eye on Dan Terry on the outside. 
Russian neck breaker there. As we see now, Vern Vaccaro taking control of the contest. We look over the shoulder now of Tony Ulysses. Cut the oxygen Referee supply. better keep an eye on, oh, look at this. Like we, had, like we were just about to say, if we don't keep an eye on Tony Ulysses, he's definitely going to put in his two cents. Here we go, he's going for the cover, cover across the throat. Oh, another choke. And just, and just like the shirt says, Bo knows this guy is a veteran and he knows his way around the ring. He's a crafty veteran that the young guys really don't want to wrestle because they don't want to be outsmarted. I can tell you right now, he's on the receiving end of some punishment, but let's watch the resiliency. Well, we got to wonder now if DTF, if Dan Terry Fitness is going to be enough, if the DTF training is going to be enough to help him and Vern Vercalo overcome the veteran team of Bo Douglas and Jason Rumble as we see Dan Terry now gloating after administering punishment now. Something as you don't want to do with two crafty veterans in the ring. Jason Rumble trying to get the Fenway crowd here into this match. Bo Douglas goes for the big clothesline now. Oh, and he's... Line buster by DTF Dan Terry. For his efforts. We see here Tony Ulysses is very pleased with his team now. As we see Jason Rumble itching to get into the ring now. Count of two only. Oh! Paul Richard, the enforcer, and he's... We gain control here as he's focusing on, on, on Jason. I guess he's really, you know, I got to tell you, the hardcore enforcer Paul Richards really got his work cut out for him today. As we see, to, not only Tony Ulysses, but the man on the outside of the ring, Dan Terry, to contend with. There's a lot going on in the ring now. A lot of action here for the Fenway faithful being treated to. Crawford, CrossFit's doing a great job of isolating Bo, working on him, giving him punishment. Elbow. Huge Don't elbow. Get there. Him out there right now. Selfie made man now. Look at this. Oh, he, as he taunts Jason Rumble into the ring and he fell. He bit the bait into the ring now and administering more punishment. And Tony, once again, like I said, Tony Ulysses likes what he sees now as we got the chin lock applied and really wrenching it in right there. He's really putting it on the clinic. He's really, 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 really laying it into Bo. Mr. Business, you got to tell me what is what happens here? What is, when you get that chin lock applied? What happens there? Oh, you know what? It's too late. It's already over. Now we got you back in the game now. You watching this match with us, or you looking at the girls out here? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, my goodness. Look at the strength of Dan Terry with that beautiful belly-to-back suplex. One, two. two. Not, a, not enough to take out the veteran Bo Douglas. One, two. Going for the cover again. That's a sign of frustration. Is it not, Mr. Business? It's absolutely a sign of frustration. <laughs> I knew I was right, and I knew you'd agree. As we see Bo Douglas now, here we go. It's, 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 <laughs> Bo just turned into a PS6 brawl here. Look at this now. Dan Terry jawing. Is he, he's slapping Bo Douglas. That is not going to. Oh, my goodness. One. Two. That's the resiliency I was I was telling you guys about earlier, but he needs to make a tag. He needs to get out of there. He's taking a lot of punishment, and right now he could be at the brink of losing this match for his Probably team. the worst mistake you could make would be to slap Bo Douglas across the face. That's one sure fire away to get him going to light a fire. And there's the big tag as we see Jason Rumble now. Huge cross forearm chop. Oh, look at this. Oh! Huge, elbow. huge elbow. One, two. Huge. Thought that could have been it there. Jason Rumble now. And Bo Douglas back in the ring. Using Jason Rumble as a weapon. Just drills him into the selfie made man. No kick out. There's the resilience. That's why these guys are the champions, but not looking too good right now as Dan Terry comes in with the Double big. Axe handle to the chest. Puts Bo Douglas on the outside now. And we've got Rumble and Vicalo in the ring. Oh, drilled into the mat. One, two, three. And that's it. The champions come out victorious. I don't even know if Bo Douglas is aware of the fact that Jason Rumble was pinned yet as Dan Terry had him on the outside. And it looks like CrossFit now. Look at this. He gains the tag team champions over the veterans. This is amazing. They showed excellent to step. To Easy for you to say, Mr. Wonderful, but nonetheless, picture perfect CrossFit. I would have to say, say that. Look at this. 
Picture per there, that's picture perfect right there. The tag Absolutely. team champions holding up the title belts with their manager, Tony Ulysses, here in front of the Fenway faithful. Well, I'm Drew Kazoo for Joey Business, Donnie Wonderful, Russell and All-Stars in New England. We'll see you next time.